This is my suitcase drum set design, which is inspired by Mike, who's posted a well-known instructable on the net. And I've taken it, and I've improved it in a lot of different ways, I feel. And I saw his design, but it didn't seem practical for me, because I personally want to use this for... I use this for gigging and for all the time, taking it all over the place. And I wanted everything to be as like built-in as possible and lightweight as possible. So I took his design, and I took uh, tons of others. I don't remember who they are. Just, you know, look it up online. But my suitcase, it has... It's very compact. So I've got my basic stick bag. I use a foot tambourine in place of a hi-hat. And that ties onto the snare. I use a piccolo snare only. I have a couple different piccolos. I bought a piccolo from Guitar Center for $40 new. And for an additional $10, you get two years of warranty to cover anything except for a broken head, which for this is great because the gear takes so much abuse. Um, this is a really nice piccolo, which I, I use for some concert settings, not for busking or anything, though. I have a suicide throne. It's the most compact throne I could possibly find. A snare stand, which I just keep ready to go. And I usually even, what I do is I tie the bag that holds my sticks onto the snare and I just wrap it around to cover the wires so I can just set it in with the wires covered, the snare is protected, and I've been doing that for months and it's been fine. My bass drum pedal, my super pinky is just destroyed. Um, I think this is the wrong high bounce ball, it's not the exact same one I noticed that Mike uses in his videos, and it's like shaves off, so I think I need to add a phallums pad or something to the front of this um, base to protect it. And then if you go to a hardware store, you can get these same metal bars like you would normally use um, on a base mount, and I recommend it because you can get, you know, everything to hold it together. There are washers and nuts and everything. I recommend getting this, and what I'm going to start doing now is loctiting this together to keep it solid. Um, definitely got to have a collapsible base drum pedal. I don't think it's optional. It fits better. It's, there's no reason not to do it. Uh, and then I have these cymbal arms which are built in. Both built in. I think this is a great idea. You take these clamp arms, you put it on the inside, and you drill through and clamp it together. Perfect. Holds together. No problems whatsoever. I want to add some washers to it, but it's stable. It makes it very easy to add this stuff, take it away. Um, Mike said he doesn't like to use feet. I completely, or wheels. I completely disagree. This has been awesome. You can have all this stuff in here and just roll it away. I keep this WD-40 to WD-40 it, I'd say, once every three months. And um, it works great. I have not had a problem with it. Um, the, this rattles a little bit. I don't care. It has not been a problem. Um, I'll mic it with a single SM58 mic right here under the snare and the front head and it sounds totally fabulous, it sounds amazing. Uh, I've linked over to YouTube videos of it playing, there's some audio recordings of it playing, it sounds gnarly, it's really cool. You can see where the old head is, it's taken serious beating. Um, there's a crack that goes from here to here and now vertical so that's why I switched everything around. Um, it was, I had it, you know, it's just using the hardware in the opposite direction. And I have another one of these clamps, which I'm probably going to install right here. And uh, it works really well. One thing I recommend that's not listed in the previous video is when you put in this plate aluminum with the three holes in it, on the inside, put another piece of plate aluminum on the inside for stability. So you can see there's another piece. It's very stable. Um, the screws have actually fallen out. I'm going to start lock tightening them, but it's stable, man. It's staying in there. So that's, that's my whole setup. So that is my whole setup. It is, there's nothing in there. Uh, I wear a tuxedo and stuff when I play, so I'll usually fit all that in there too. So that's my incredibly minimal set. And I recommend having the stands on there. Not only does having the symbols on there look awesome, but it'll get you more business and more interest because people see that and they think you are so cool.